Hi, I'm Alana Walton. I'm from Sydney, Australia. My grandmother is from London and her parents were in the showbiz. Things weren't really working out for her with her parents when she was young, so she got on a flight at I think about seven or eight on her own and came to Australia. I think something that I see from my father and myself is that I don't really care about my appearance. I sort of just grew up like a boy and was raised by his five best friends, so something that I've definitely taken on from him is just being carefree and appreciating nature more than beauty. <laughs> Growing up, I didn't really care about what I looked like so much, so I think something that I appreciate about myself is that I can truly say that I'm a kind and genuine person and I care about other people's feelings more than myself in a way, so I think that is where my inner beauty shines more than maybe the outside. This is my first year doing VS. The thing that I'm most happy about is that it's been a dream of mine ever since I was 14, so just to be able to say that I've accomplished one of my biggest dreams is super exciting for me. My name is Gisele Oliveira, and I'm from Brazil. I learned English when I came to America in 2013. Being the middle child is horrible. I feel like everyone that is a middle child understands that. My young sister was, you know, the cute one. Everyone was crazy about her. And my older sister was the smart one. And I was the weird one. <laughs> This is my second year doing the VS show. I only realized that I got the show really when I went to do the feeding. I saw myself in the mirror and like all those images of like that I've seen before of girls in the feeding and everything went in my head and I started crying. And they're like, oh, you don't like your outfit? I was like, no, that's not it. It was just insane to me, like being part of that because I always saw the biggest models and especially biggest Brazilian models there and being part of it was insane to me. Hi, I'm Lamika Fox and I'm from Washington, D.C. For the longest time when I was younger, I used to tell my grandparents and like my mom and I was like, look, if I'm like not from this family, you can tell me it's okay, like I'll still love you guys because I look so different from my mom and my dad. I am a mix, so I think that it's just like I'm like the perfect combination of the two. My mom's side of the family is predominantly African American and there's some Native American in there, which makes a lot of sense just because where my grandma's from in North Carolina, there's a few reserves still. My dad's side of the family is mostly Irish, but there's a little Italian in there too, so that's pretty cool. We'd always check the mail and the Victoria's Secret catalogs would come in the mail. We would look through them and just be like, oh, this is so pretty. And everyone was like, oh, you're going to do this one day. And I thought it was like the funniest thing ever because it seemed so far out of touch for someone like, like me. And this is the third time. It feels a bit different. Now I feel a lot more secure just in my career and what I want. You have to know self-love and you have to know how to take care of your yourself.